Just don't make any rush decisions, okay? Rush decisions? Yeah. But you know how much I don't want to be I know me, I know. But why don't you understand? This, this is my career that we're talking about. I'm just trying to help. I don't believe you. You know, I've come here to get help from you and you've just shamed me. I'm not shaming you, Mia. That is not what... Do you what... know what? What would you even know about being pregnant anyway? I have been pregnant before. I was 17 and very stupid and I didn't have a boyfriend. And I just remember thinking that I wanted this thing out of me. I hated it. But then she started to grow. And even though I was terrified, I loved her. You are sexy. You are a business woman who means business. I am. There you are. Marcus is ready for you. I'm coming. Rachel. I said. They've already been waiting for like 10 minutes. Why don't you show them the video we prepared? Yeah, I did. Oh, good. You're good. Um, show it to them again? They don't want to see the video again. They want to see your presentation. Um, I think <laughs> you're going to need to tell Marcus that I'm not feeling very well. You just high-fived him like half an hour ago. Well, I've been struck by a sudden attack of diarrhoea. I'll tell them what I saw three days ago by the stables. You must not have seen me. I was behind the rose bushes. I didn't fancy cleaning the stalls like Mrs Hayes had told me to. Whatever you think you saw, I know exactly what I saw. You were doing things with the stable boy. It made even a harlot like me blush. I didn't. We didn't. So it was you. Thank you for confirming that. Now, I won't be let go. And I would like one free day per week a raise, and to work directly under your supervision from now on.